All right, so yeah, yesterday was a sit, lay down, do stuff day. I did go down and like walk around. I had to go get new meds and stuff from the robot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Aaron's cooking the bacon now. But uh, as of like last night, since I was walking around, rewind a little bit. So I recorded that at like 3.25. At about five o'clock, I was reading stuff on Twitter about the Sinterklaas Journal. And I tweeted about that it's wild this year because they're reporting that the steamboat that Sinterklaas is supposed to come in on sank and there were seven dead. <laughs> and that kids were like crying. This was the previous night, I think. This wasn't last night. This was the previous night of Sinterklaas Journal because if kids were nearly as distraught, they wouldn't be out walking around doing the face von St. Martin, which is on November 11th. <laughs> I don't know when these, but so like, anyways. So yeah, and there's like animated model footage of like the boat sinking and everyone on Twitter is doing like, you know, Titanic sort of stuff happening. And like, <laughs> oh my gosh, the Sint, Sint has Hasonka. Oh yeah. And what has happened, and what is happening with Santa Claus now? He's wet. <laughs> and the kid's crying. And Aaron saw that, or you know, saw that little TikTok from NPO and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. So this morning, I was like, well, I'm kind of wrapped up into this. I have to figure out what's happening. He came by plane and he landed near Hellefutzlaus, which is where he's supposed to as the, uh, um, he's supposed to come in by his stone boat, steamboat, but he landed there instead. He's going to go tour the Netherlands this weekend and drop off packages to all the, and all stuff. Yeah. yeah, like he did, he's doing the Santa Claus thing, which is, here's the thing. He's doing the Santa Claus thing in November for the day that happens on like, it's technically on the 6th this year. Uh, yeah, it's usually the 5th, but it just, I think it just, they, they pick the weekend. Is it? December 6th. Is this? Oh, it was a Monday. Oh, it's a Tuesday, whatever. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> how this works out, but like, I've always known it to be the 5th of December. Yeah. And Christmas Eve is called Pakis Avond, which is, could be used as like packages or wear your little suit. And in pak is like a suit. So you can have a peat pak, which is a Sparta peat suit or costume. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> Anyways, but the Feast of St. Martin, which according to Google is called Old Hallows Eve, what? <laughs> is when Dutch children go door to door with little lanterns and sing songs about the Feast of St. Martin <laughs> and get treats, but not in costume. No, must not be in costume. But they carry around, it used to be like they would carry around candles in like a turnip or a gourd or something, like it, the old would before we had electric electric lights and paper that we could keep around a light source. <laughs> but yeah, so Santa Claus has arrived. There's already, I've already seen the joke and it probably was from last time when he came in on a plane. He's come in via many modes of transportation over the years. <laughs> he has come by train a few times, oh, but he's also come by plane. So the joke of the cockpit is, um, hmm. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, I'm gonna, it sounds like Aaron's almost done. No. But there was a comment by, I think, NPO, any children who are worried about presents this year really need to understand the morality of seven died. <laughs> yeah, that was, I think that was in the article that I shared on Twitter. <laughs> you, you have to translate it because... When it comes down to stuff like that, I, I, I just have Google translate the whole thing so I can quickly read it and get the idea. I don't really 
need to practice my Dutch on that one. <laughs> yeah. So Aaron did a lot of looking up on uh, video cards and stuff. Yep. And I came up with the same conclusion apparently that I came up with before. Um, so PC Park Picker has a the ability to do a search based on per specific keywords or parameters. And um, he's utilizing his hand a lot, so I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gesturing, trying to get it in there so you guys can see what he's thinking about. And now I feel like I have to. Um, so yeah, parameters or keywords. This time I did a keyword search and came up with the exact same keywords that I put into parameters last time. Uh, the video card we're looking at is the NVIDIA 3060, or RTX 3060 8GB model uh, from anywhere, any company. Because that's going to be fairly future-proof without costing thousands of dollars. Or euros. Yeah, yeah. Aaron keeps doing the same research over and over because he forgets that he has a result. Yeah, because it's not. It it's a result that hasn't produced us owning new video cards. This, however, is getting super annoying <laughs> because not only am I dealing with the sun from that spot, I'm also getting it from there. There, and there, there, and there, there, and there. <laughs> this boat, just, everything is like definite like fall, evening, low sunset colors. Like everything is dimmed and stuff. And then you have well, my eyes say, just this absolutely stark blue sail. <laughs> Is it blue or purple? Okay. It just looked... It, it looks out of place. <laughs> to my eyes, it looks inflated. Like, a, like an inflatable thing. Let's... Uh, let's... The way sails. No. No, it's... It's probably just the way the lighter blue... Yeah, it, it's, it's probably just the fact that the vertical lines, that whole idea of like, the whole idea of like horizontal color, or horizontal stripes make you look fat, vertical make you look thin, or something like that, yeah. or the other way around. No, yeah. Right. Oh, it was? Okay. I always figured that the vertical lines you would see, your belly would bow them out a bit more, you would look bigger. But then that would also apply to the horizontal lines because they would bow up. But anyways, <laughs> we're out for a little walk because there's just no wind right now at all. Today would have been a great day for a bike ride, but video cards and Pokemon and various other things are just in the process of being sunset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's so late, it's 440. Yeah. Like, the sun isn't even over the buildings. <laughs> but, like, as you guys were seeing, what, ten minutes ago or something? It's... It's too clear for as low as the sun is right now. <laughs> the sun is coming in at, like, you know, the 30-degree angle and reflecting off exactly at the 30-degree angle, because glass. <laughs> and then... It comes beaming directly back into our apartment. <laughs> or people have the south facing windows, so their windows are slightly open so they can cool off their apartment because they have south facing windows. Or just get fresh air. Or to get fresh air. And so that angle winds up causing the sun to. <laughs> On a totally separate note. Last night we were watching Manifest, the first half of season four, um, and I, I want to say props to them. They've done an excellent job throughout the entire first three and a half, three seasons, of keeping the science realistic. Not real. 
Yeah. So they fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up one word, one phrase. They they mm, no no this like when I say they 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 fucked up like this wasn't just like they used a phrase they techno babbled like this is this is stupid shit. <laughs> ULF, to be fair, they kept bringing up ULF, ultra low frequencies. ULF, ultra low frequencies. Okay. We've been so, hearing it in the ultra low frequencies. ULFs. And I'm like, yes, but we also were watching it in a way they don't intend. We were binging it. They only did that once per episode. Then again, these episodes are like super long and I'm just not sure. Anyways, so what they said was ultra low frequencies. It's a version of sound that we cannot hear of the electromagnetic spectrum. And I'm like, yeah, it's just, we, we had to pause and just like... <laughs> Sound doesn't travel in the EM. Yeah, like everything was going good. Ultra low frequencies, like an earthquake. It's just that they said electromagnetic and it just was the absolute... It to be fair, I understand. Out. It took us out and it probably took a lot of people out and it's not going to ruin it. Like somebody said, I saw on Twitter, they're like, well, I'm going to try out watching this manifest thing. Oh, five minutes in, they clapped, turned it off. They clapped when the plane landed. So the per Americans. <laughs> well, the thing is, is the person then turned off the show and wrote it off as a terrible show because the people in the show clapped for the plane landing after having severe turbulence and almost crashing. Yeah. So, some people, like, we're not going to give up on the show that easily, but it's just... Ugh. Okay. So, I don't feel usually safe enough coming up here on this pathway next to this fence, especially while they're working here. So, on our walk around, <laughs> we can see where, like, the dock and stuff is going to be. This is probably just the work area in general. But the ramp is coming down over there to here that's going to go out to the water. And I think somewhere where that boat is is where we're going to get on the ferry at. <laughs> Just seems... Yeah, see, they've got, like, the bike ramp. And then this is going to be the actual, like, foot... The stairs down to it. So you don't have to walk down the entire thing for you. <laughs> Everyone's going to get off the ferry and all the bikes take a right. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun, but... <laughs> yeah. And then... Get off up here. I'm, I'm still not sure what they're doing here. Because, like... Oh, cool. The pathway comes here. And, and then it's, you know, fend for yourselves. We gave you a ferry, but you need to figure out the rest. <laughs> Yeah, they're not done yet. We're halfway through the month, and they said by the end of this year. So we're halfway through the next to last month. But yeah, they are tearing everything up down there too. 